Good morning, sports racers. It's Wednesday, July 12th, shadow of a PP. Today is tell someone they're getting fat in the comments day. Oh, wait, that was yesterday. Asshole. It's a shadow of a PP. I'm not getting fat. I just want a man boob. Just one, though. It likes oatmeal cookie ice cream. According to the Associated Press and the New Scientist, a recent study has proven that magic mushrooms really cause spiritual experiences. Oh, that's what was happening to my college roommate when I found him naked listening to salsa saying he was organizing a knitting parade. It was spiritual. Thank you, science. Science, always probing, learning, discovering. Psst, I think the young kids call it a trip. Roland Griffiths of Johns Hopkins University, seen here watching a patient try to hump a doorknob, conducted the study in which 36 volunteers were either given a high dosage of psilocybin, the hallucinogen derived from the Liberty Cap mushroom, which incidentally grows on the shit, or given a high dosage of Ritalin. Those ladies in the diaper smelling study could have had the best of both worlds. The study, partially funded by the federal government, found that 60% of the volunteers had a quote, complete mystical experience after taking psilocybin. One third of the volunteers said that their encounter was the single most spiritual significant experience in their lifetimes. 20%, however, described their experience as being dominated by negative feelings such as anxiety. Not mentioned in the study is whether this had to do with the fact that they were blindfolded and forced to listen to classical music, which would scare the shit out of me. When asked to describe their experience, Griffith said that the respondents replied that they, quote, couldn't possibly put it into words. So two months later, he asked them to fill out a questionnaire. I couldn't possibly describe it. Okay, cool, now describe it. Two months later, most of the volunteers described themselves as more compassionate, loving, optimistic, and patient. Griffiths warns, however, that you should absolutely not try this at home. Duh, that's where your parents are. Researchers suggest that the drug may ultimately help cure anxiety in terminally ill patients. The normal brain gets a variety of signals from our sensory organs. Information from places like our eyes and ears are encoded into electrical impulses that travel through our neurons. Neurons pass these signals to other neurons using chemicals called neurotransmitters. Billions of neurons in our brain use these chemicals to process the raw data into symbolic structures. For example, chairs come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. The raw data that our eyes get from a chair viewed straight on is very different from the raw data that we get from that same chair rotated 90 degrees. But the complex symbolic architecture in our brains still allows us to recognize it as a chair. This reduction of information into symbolic structures allows us to navigate and feel comfortable in an incredibly complex world. Taking hallucinogens causes neurons to release neurotransmitters in different quantities and frequencies. Parts of the brain that might never have talked to each other before start talking to each other. Like the naked part, the salsa part, the knitting part, and the parade part. Because of the brain's desire to create symbolic structures, temporary ones are made even if they don't make sense. We feel like we're recognizing patterns even where there are none. In this way, many different parts of the world can suddenly feel connected. This confusing and temporary connectedness can be called spirituality. People can achieve similar results by constantly challenging our brain's default symbolic architectures. Here's a table to pet your odd-shaped duck after it makes a poop. This is Zay Frank tripping out so you don't have to. Hurry, only two days left to enter in the I Knows Me Some Ugly MySpace contest. Here's some different variations on the ugly duckling you can put on your page. You can find the link in the sidebar. Hey, fabulosos, night to E5.